Hey everyone, in this quick video, I wanna talk about changes to HashiCorp Packer that you might not be aware of. Now, if you're learning Packer for the first time now, these changes won't impact you and you'll learn how to use Packer with all these changes in mind. However, if you have used HashiCorp Packer in the past, these changes will be very important to you, so make sure to keep watching. So as part of the final step in moving towards these external plugins that HashiCorp has been talking about for quite a while, Packer version 1.10 will actually stop bundling all these official plugins with its binary releases moving forward. Now, this is a major change in the product regarding how HashiCorp managed everything in the past. So what does that really mean to you and how does it impact HashiCorp Packer? Well, let's look at the problem first. Now, bundling all these plugins that you're used to with Packer really prevented HashiCorp from releasing all these plugins separately from Packer itself. Now, every time somebody fixed a bug, they had to open a pull request on Packer, get it approved and merged, and then they had to wait until the new release of Packer in order to benefit from these changes. Now, this was not really ideal and really these small changes took forever to be released. Now, another reason a change was needed is that HashiCorp was continuing to bundle all that code for the plugins and all their dependencies, and it made HashiCorp Packer heavier and larger binary size, and it took up more memory on the machine that Packer was being used on. Now, this move that HashiCorp has done is very similar to many other HashiCorp products and how they function, namely Terraform, where you have Terraform Core, and then you download and install all these separate plugins or modules that you need to accomplish a task, and you don't need to download all these modules and providers that you're not using. Now, because of these changes, the most significant change that you will see with Packer is the inclusion of this new required plugins block for each plugin that you need to use, and then the requirement to run a Packer init command to download and manage those plugins. All right, let's head over to VS Code and we can see how this new changes affect our Packer workflow. So over on VS Code, you can see I have a Packer template here. It's gonna simply build an Amazon Linux 2 image for us. It's gonna do a few things, like install Nginx and a few things, nothing too complex. So if I pull up our terminal here and I do a Packer version, you can see I'm running on 1.10 here. I'll clear the screen. And now let's go ahead and try our build. I'm gonna do Packer build and this file is called linux.pkr.hcl. Now if I hit enter, you can see it says the source Amazon EBS is unknown by Packer and it's likely part of a plugin that is not installed. So if you're using a version before 1.10, well, Packer already had this plugin installed along with the binary. So you wouldn't have to worry about downloading it. But because 1.10, does not include the binaries, we need to go ahead and download it. So the easiest way to do that is to add our required plugins block that we talked about earlier. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top here. I'm gonna just add it to the top. What we'll do is we'll add Packer and then open that. And then we'll say required plugins. We're gonna open up that one too. And we're gonna say Amazon equals, all right? And then we're gonna say version equals and we're going to go ahead and give it the latest version which is going to be greater than equal 1.2.9 which is the current version all right and then we're going to provide it a source so where is this plugin well it's over on github under hashicorp's repo and then the url is going to finish off with just amazon so github.com slash hashicorp.amazon is where that lives. So we've got our required plugins in here. All right, awesome. So let's pull this back up here and I'm gonna clear the screen. If we do a Packer F FMT and then format our file here, we format it, we can go ahead and do a Packer validate on our file here. And it looks like we have not run Packer init yet, which is fine, okay? So we're gonna clear the screen. And now since we've added this new required plugin, well, similar to Terraform, we have to run a Packer init, right? In Terraform, we would run a Terraform init. Now we have to run a Packer init. So we're gonna run Packer init and we're gonna point to the file, right? So linux.packer.hcl and hit enter. 
it's gonna go ahead and read that file. It's gonna say, you know what? We need to go ahead and download that Amazon plugin and it has done that for us. So you can see exactly where that is saved. By the way, if you want to remove a plugin, you could do a Packer plugins remove and then you would just give it this address right here and that would go ahead and remove your plugin but we don't want to do that we want to install it with that new plugin downloaded we can go ahead and run our packer build now now before it of course failed because we did not have the plugin downloaded so it should succeed so we do a packer build and point to our file and hit enter it's gonna say you know what we can go ahead and run that so you can see it's going to go ahead and start building our image if we go over to aws here and i do a refresh see no instances yet it should take just a second it's probably initializing if i hit this and here is one that's pending right here so you can see it's actually building it now by the way while it's building we can go over here and here is the information about the Amazon plugin that you can use. You can also click GitHub right here and go straight to the repo for this particular plugin. So it gives you all the information about how to use this particular plugin. So again, we're gonna refresh. You can see that it's running. It's going to build our image. You can see down here it's provisioning, it's loading the plugins, and it's gonna go ahead and finish up our image. All right, so quick demonstration on how you can download plugins in Packer 1.10 moving forward because again, they are no longer built in with Packer Core. Let me know what your thoughts about this are and how it's going to impact both you and your organization. And let me know what you think about this new change. Is it good, is it bad? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments.